Alvin Kamara is currently facing major backlash after a recent altercation that he was involved in after the Pro Bowl. This resulted in him being arrested, and it now has the chance of ruining his career in the NFL. Exclusive information came out about how the NFL is going to play out the situation. I need to share it with you in this video, so let's get straight into it. And if you're a fan of Alvin Kamara, leave a like on the video. I'm curious how many fans are still watching today. Alvin Kamara was involved in a brawl on February 5th, 2022 in downtown Las Vegas. Now it looks like Kamara will actually be getting charged and potential prison time depending on what's going on with the current investigation. Now in case you aren't aware of the entire situation that happened, just before the Pro Bowl, the Las Vegas Police Department was informed of a situation that had happened in the middle of downtown Vegas, involving men causing some sort of brawl right outside of an elevator in a club. Law enforcement took time to investigate the situation. They found out that one of NFL's most prominent running backs was involved being Alvin Kamara of the New Orleans Saints. The official statement from the Vegas Police Department states, and I quote, On February 5th, 2022, at approximately 5.50 p.m., the Las Vegas patrol officers were dispatched to a local hospital, where a man was reporting a physical altercation involving an NFL running back. The victim reported being injured at a club located on the 3500 block of South Las Vegas Boulevard. The investigation by Las Vegas detectives determined that the victim was injured by the suspect. Later identified as Alvin Kamara, he was located and taken into custody on February 6, 2022. Kamara was then transported to the Clark County Detention Center, where he was booked for an altercation resulting in substantial injuries to the man involved. Now, the injuries that Kamara did to the man with having the brawl are very serious. They could have long-term health effects that I'll touch on later in the video that you need to hear about. Now, although everyone has been basically just singling out Kamara for being the one that injured the other man during the brawl that they had, according to Ian Rappaport, it was not just Kamara that had been involved during the brawl. And actually, some of his boys with him that sort of helped him out during the situation also may now catch charges as well. Now, in a way, this is actually a good thing for Kamara, but don't get me wrong, there still had to have been a reason that the cops were only going after Kamara after they had the exclusive security footage of the situation. So it seems like he had been the one who did a majority of the damage. Once again, coming from Ian Rappaport, the Las Vegas Police Department, they detailed the situation, stating that it was Kamara and three of his friends who ended up getting in this altercation. A man by the name of Darnell Green was beside the elevator inside of the club. Now the security tape of the entire situation has not yet been released to the public, but when it is, I'll be sure to share everything with you when it comes out. But as of right now, we can't know for sure without looking at the actual evidence. Law enforcement claim that this entire brawl started by Alvin Kamara putting his hand on Darnell Green's shoulder. Green then then shoved Kamara's hand away and then this suddenly escalated into a massive physical altercation with each other where Kamara ended up going at Green many times until he fell to the ground. But the worst thing of it all, according to the law enforcement statements, even after Darnell Green had fell to the ground, Kamara decided that he still was not done with him. That's when him and his boys continued to go at him while he was on the ground. Now the night of the brawl between Green and Kamara, that's when Green went to the hospital and even reported the entire situation happening. One of the biggest issues that's coming out of the altercation is the potential life-changing injuries to Darnell Green. After Green underwent some tests and scans at the hospital, it was found out that not only had his body and mostly his face was extremely injured, but he actually got in his orbital bone fractured from this incident as well, which is a very serious thing, and this is what could potentially sentence Kamara to five years in prison. Now, in case you don't know, the orbital bones are practically your eye socket. It's what helps supports your eye and keeps it in place. Now, this is a such 
such an important bone and having it injured is not a good thing. It's likely that Darnell Green will have to undergo surgery. It's possible that his eye will never return back to normal and before this entire situation, he could be now left with a limited eye movement and possible double vision for the rest of his life. This means that Darnell Green, if this ends up being the case, will never be able to return to work, meaning that Alvin Kamara will then be left supporting him for near the rest of his life. Now following up after Kamara's arrest, this is now what we know and what the future of his court case will look like and when we can begin to get more answers on this case. Now, Kamara did not spend long in a jail cell. Just the day after his arrest on Monday, Alvin Kamara posted a $5,000 bond. His court date has now been set to take place on March 8, 2022. A conviction on a charge like this is likely to be within one to five years in prison. So of course, just like any other court case, we are gonna have to wait up until his trial in order to see what he'll be sent sentenced with. Not to mention the court date is now set for March 8th, giving Darnell Green time to get surgeries and just overall healing to see what actually has been done to him. Now Kamara has just practically ruined his NFL career after this incident, and with him now probably having to face prison time, I imagine he will be banned from the NFL depending on certain news that come out from his court case, and whether some very crazy things come out about the situation that we just don't know yet. It seems like every so often we end up hearing some sort of case involving NFL players doing some sort of thing that they definitely shouldn't be doing in Las Vegas. We can begin to see a reduction in cases like this featuring NFL players if they were to just use the tools that the NFL provides, such as personal security, a personal driver 24-7 whenever you need it, and just overall using your brain. There's an ongoing investigation right now that the NFL was already a made aware of the arrest warrant that was made for Alvin Kamara prior to the Pro Bowl starting on February 6th. The investigation is about how the NFL allowed Kamara to play in the Pro Bowl despite being wanted by law enforcement. Kamara did eventually end up getting arrested, but he was strangely enough a couple hours after the Pro Bowl. But by the entire situation, I'm not that surprised. It almost seems as if the NFL, NFL players, they just get away with a lot of things when it comes to law enforcement. Alvin Kamara was involved in a brawl on February 5th, 2022 in downtown Las Vegas and this is what could potentially sentence Kamara to five years in prison. Just the day after his arrest on Monday, Alvin Kamara posted a $5,000 bond. His court date has now been set to take place on March 8, 2022. Now, if you wanna stay up to date with the Alvin Kamara court case, make sure you leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you never miss out on a video and make sure you check out our videos here on the end screen in case you have missed some of our newest video. Anyways, it's been District Football and I'm ending the video here. I'm out. Peace.